Stop the car, man! Stop the car! Stop the car! Get off the f Put on the goddamn brakes! Put on the f brakes! In a gripping newly released video, an Iowa police officer clings to the hood of a car like a tenacious hero while the driver attempts a daring escape. This heart-pounding footage from the Carroll Police Department unveils the thrilling events that led to the driver's recent sentencing of five years in prison following a high-stakes encounter on March 5th, 2021. The adrenaline-fueled drama captured on this extraordinary footage leaves viewers on the edge of their seats, showcasing the bravery and dedication of law enforcement officers who put their lives on the line to protect and serve. Let's dive in and see how things unfolded. Officer Patrick McCarty, determined and fearless, informs a passenger named Dennis Guider Jr. that there's an active arrest warrant for him from Illinois. How's it going, guys? Hey, Dennis. Hey, um, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but it sounds like you got a warrant out of Illinois. With adrenaline coursing through his veins, the driver exits the vehicle, and seizing the opportunity, Guider swiftly slides into the driver's seat, igniting the engine. Sensing the gravity of the situation, Officer McCarty instinctively draws his gun, ready to confront the unfolding danger. The next few moments are an intense battle of wills, as Officer McCarty clings to the moving car's hood, defying the odds with his unwavering grip and unwavering determination. Stop the car! Stop it! Stop the car! Stop the car! The courageous officer becomes a real-life action hero defying the laws of physics and proving that sometimes the line between justice and chaos is drawn right on the hood of a speeding vehicle. In a scene straight out of an action movie, the courageous officer finds himself in a high-stakes chase. As the car gains speed, Officer McCarty fearlessly leaps onto the hood, defying the odds and embarking on a wild ride. Stop the f car, man! Jesus! With each passing moment, the situation intensifies as additional officers race to the scene, their sirens piercing the air with urgency. Undeterred by the officers' persistent appeals, Guider accelerated to speeds reaching a staggering 50 miles per hour while McCarty valiantly clung to the vehicle's roof, refusing to let go. As the intense pursuit unfolded, additional police squad cars swiftly joined the chase, their sirens blaring in a symphony of urgency. Guider, seemingly undeterred by the escalating pursuit, abruptly veered into a gravel lot, navigating through treacherous terrain. It was during this perilous maneuver that McCarty's grip faltered, causing him to lose his tenuous hold on the vehicle's surface and ultimately plummet to the unforgiving ground below. Officer McCarty is shown in the scene defying gravity by leaning atop the moving car and firmly grasping the open window. Incredulous observers are left by the sight, which is both alluring and perplexing since it depicts his daring feat. It's a high-stakes standoff, a moment where the balance between control and chaos hangs by a thread. As Officer McCarty navigates the precarious terrain, it's as if he exists in a realm between heroism and recklessness. With his voice demanding cooperation in the midst of the confusion, McCarty approaches Guider, displaying his steadfast will to the fullest. As observers hold their breath, mesmerized by the raw intensity of the unfolding interaction, the power dynamics change and the tension in the air becomes palpable. The stakes have never been higher as the officer fights against the powerful forces of motion and the driver's resolve. The pursuing vehicle, which other cops are in, follows the suspect's car closely as everything plays out, catching the entire scene. But what happens next when the suspect's car hurtles toward the impending obstacle, a deep ditch? The anticipation reaches its peak, with hearts racing and breaths held in suspense. Will the impending impact bring the chase to a cataclysmic halt? Or will fate intervene, weaving an unexpected twist into the fabric of this high-octane drama? Let's see. In a devastating collision with the unyielding ground, McCarty's body meets a cruel fate. The force of impact fractures his back, sending shockwaves of pain coursing through his being. Meanwhile, the suspect's vehicle hurtles into a treacherous ditch, further adding to the chaos of the scene. 
As the reality of the accident sets in, the seriousness of the situation grows. McCarty, who was tenacious and resilient, now lies broken, the very embodiment of giving one's life for the cause of justice. The car of the suspect is seen to be running at a fast pace to prevent the police from catching up. But of course, the cops behind this scene stopped their car to get help for their fellow police officer who was lying on the ground and who had fractured his bones for the sake of catching the culprit. I'm okay, man. Go get him. I'm all right. You sure? Uh, you good? Go get him. Dude, he's... he's... I'm stuck. I'm in the f***ing ditch. God damn it. Oh, f You all right? I'm gonna get medics coming, all right? All right, man. It is a scene that perfectly captures the frailty of human life and the vulnerability of those who risk their safety to defend others. The incident serves as a moving reminder of the dangers that come with the honorable profession of law enforcement. In a swift response, Cop 2 quickly dialed for medics to aid his fellow injured officer, the valiant McCarty. With urgency in his voice, he relayed crucial information to the department, revealing that the suspect had cunningly veered northward when McCarty tumbled into the ditch. I need medics. Carol 91, he is going north past the county shed to Highway 30. I have 1050 in a ditch. I need medics to my location. I have Officer McCarty down. According to news sources, Dennis Geider Jr., when captured, pleaded guilty to severe harm by a car, claiming that he feared for his life when confronted with McCarty's drawn pistol. McCarty underwent a difficult recuperation process that lasted almost a full year, with a three-month vacation from work. He had been a respected member of the Carroll Police Department for a period of four years before the incident. The defendant, Guider, was represented by a counsel in court who begged the judge for leniency in a sentence, claiming that McCarty had not received official instruction to stand in front of a moving vehicle. In a recent hearing, McCarty himself addressed the gathered audience, revealing, Each circumstance presents itself uniquely, and it certainly didn't unfold as I had intended. These words shed light on the complexity and unpredictability of the situation, highlighting the unexpected turn of events that took place. Brad Burke, the chief of the Carroll Police Department, however, was open with the Iowa Capitol Dispatch and said that McCarty had made a mistake while attempting to detain the suspect in the heat of the moment. He emphasized that this episode was crucial for all officers' training, guaranteeing that such errors in judgment would be handled and avoided in subsequent circumstances. This incident involving an officer's decision to jump onto the hood of a suspect's vehicle has sparked a heated debate among the public. But opinions are divided, with some vehemently arguing that the officer's actions were grounds for immediate termination. They claim his poor decision-making skills were on full display, labeling the move as nothing short of outrageous. Comparisons to fictional characters like T.J. Hooker are thrown in, suggesting the officer may have been influenced by excessive television consumption. Others, on the other hand, view the officer's bravery in a different way. They saw it as nothing less than heroic, demonstrating the police officer's persistent resolve to keep the culprit from escaping. They applaud the officer's perseverance as he clung to the bonnet of the moving car, praising his bravery and fortitude. It is now your turn to comment on this hot-button situation. Whether you think the officer's action was really a heroic deed showing his steadfast dedication to public safety, or was it a careless and unnecessary action that might have put others' lives in danger in addition to his own? Consider the various factors at play here. The immediate danger posed by the suspect, the potential risk to innocent bystanders, and the officer's responsibility to maintain law and order. So comment down below, and thank you for joining us on this extraordinary chase. Stay tuned for more captivating cases of bravery. Subscribe now and be a part of our growing community. Remember, heroes are not just found in movies. They walk among us, wearing badges of honor.